Good morning and happy Valentine's Day. So, I just wanted to pop on here this morning and do a little disclaimer for this week's video. So this week, for actually the last 10 days, we've been staying at the Cabana Club RV Resort and we've enjoyed it so much, we haven't done too much recording. I'm pleased as punch Weather spiked or sparkly You make me tipsy and bubbly If you're a dessert, I want the last cards first Oh, I love all your candy kisses And I'm a thief addicted Oh, 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 I can't have just one No So we're gonna go ahead and roll this week's vlog and then come back later in the week we're gonna have a full tour of this resort and you're gonna love it because it's awesome best place we've stayed yet what we're staying at is having a Super Bowl party today but we don't really follow sports so all we know is whoever gets the first home run or slam dunk wins the game we're we can't wait for the tee off it's gonna be awesome yeah go right. whoever's playing yeah Woo. Go, go team! Woo, yeah, go, go team! Go a team! <laughs> All right, here we go. Big, big football fans oh, oh. in the house. Woo. With you, the sun is shining 24 7. Cause when we're together, it feels like we're in heaven. If it will get dark, you'll be my. So we are out today riding our power bikes. We're on, we started on the Auburn Dell Trail, which was just like uh, what, a quarter mile from the RV Park entrance. And so we've gone about seven miles, probably. Seven. So we started on the Auburn Dell Trail, and now we're on the Polk City Trail. And we're just gonna keep going and see where we end up. And keep seeing turtles crossing the road. Twice we've seen turtles looking at across, not tortoises, not turtles, I know. Tortoises looking at across the road. It's true though because they, they have like little holes that they're like climbing in. Like we saw one over down over there and there's one just right there. We just saw a turtle go into it. it they're kind of like around this size, but and they're turtles, fast. Turtles are pretty cool to us because in Utah we don't have turtles just roaming around the streets like they do here. There's no gangs of turtles. <laughs> In Utah. Hey, there's a nest. Oh, there Turtles don't live in nests. Goodbye. Okay, how many of you out there have a Blackstone grill? We hear everybody using them, we hear how great they are, and then these people we met, Paul and Judy, at the RV park we're staying at, they have one and they were out cooking breakfast the other day and it smelled delicious so and the cleanup on them is supposed to be good we have a traeger grill but it's a little smoker. a smoker traeger smoker so it's kind of hit and miss when we can actually use it so we are actually going to cruise over to walmart and pick up a blackstone grill right now yep. and we're going to test it out tonight okay so we just purchased the blackstone grill and we stopped at the local produce it's called michael's fresh produce they have a ton of fruits and veggies so we're gonna get some fresh homegrown veggies to cook on our new grill.
right, now that we got the grill home, we stopped and got a bunch of produce. It's time to put this thing together and get cooking. It is hot out here. All in all, it took me about five minutes to put together. It goes together pretty good. I just gotta tighten a few bolts up and then things ready to go. All right, so we are getting ready to cook on the Blackstone for the first time. We're cutting up all the veggies. We just went and got at that farmer's market. Well, Travis is cutting up all the veggies. And we bought some shrimp at Walmart, just frozen shrimp. We have that marinating. So we're gonna have um, shrimp and veggies on our new Blackstone. Why do I gotta sing? Just show. <laughs> Singing. So we are going to cut up the veggies for the jalapenos. Ooh, they smell hot. Is that it's hot? hot. <laughs> that burger wasn't, now it is. Like, it smells oh, wow. hot. <laughs> oh. Careful, careful with the jalapenos. <laughs> wow, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it smelled like a pepper, not like a bell pepper, not like a jalapeno. Yeah, I can smell the heat. All right, this looks and smells so good already. Let's go throw it on the black stomp. All right, so we have to say we are in love with the black stone. Everything off of it tasted so good. The shrimp was amazing. Yeah. It's like going to a restaurant and getting that perfect seared shrimp. Mm -hmm. So we are definitely gonna highly recommend getting a black stone. It's nice that it, the legs fold up. You can just pack it away. We have a smoker which we haven't used as much as we thought because it smokes us out, it's smokes our neighbors bad. out. We feel kind of bad using it most of the time because it makes the whole campground smoky, especially when you're with some, when you're in a campground. It that, smells good. That but doesn't have it campfires. Is very smoky. Yeah, I just feel kind of bad when I smoke everyone out. But we do like the Traeger as well, but we're probably going to get way more use out of the Blackstone. Definitely get a lot more use. The setup on it when you buy one, the installation. I mean, five, six minutes, I was like, done. Yeah. So it's real easy to put together. Awesome. So thanks, Paul and Judy, for telling us yes. about, about the Blackstone. Okay, they also told us, I have to tell you guys this. So they told us that you can take a pack of cinnamon rolls, pre-cooked cinnamon rolls that you pop in the oven, you smash them flat, put them on the Blackstone, and cook them like pancakes. And then I guess you just use the um, frosting it comes with as the topping. So the kids, we were going to do that this morning, but it was pouring rain here. So we're probably going to do that tomorrow morning for sure. Next week's vlog, watch it. Come back because you'll be able yeah. to see. <laughs> Come see how it works out for us. But okay, so we have been enjoying this RV park rat right now so much that we actually have not done a lot of recording this week. So what we decided to do in lieu of our vlog is we're going to tell you, well, something we've been wanting to do for a long yes. time. We're going to tell you our top 10 things in our rig that we would not full-time RV without. Like the things we've been doing a little over three months now. So we have our very top things. And plus, we've had other rigs. Like five or six other rigs over the past 15, 17 years. We I don't always know. had that must-have or what mm -hmm. want list. And we never had it. And if, with yeah. this rig, we actually have everything. So we thought we'd show it off to you as well. Yeah. And, well, and for full-time, some things are just an absolute must. Yes. Like, yeah. So here we go. Okay, here we go. Number 10, not only one bathroom, but two bathrooms. 
We have loved having a bath and a half in this rig. It is so nice not to have to hurry when you're in the restroom or when I'm getting ready. Someone can be taking a shower in here. There's never any bathroom conflict. We love it. Okay, number nine. If you're an RVer, you know what a pain in the butt it is to have to back in and level everything. With the equalizer system, I just pull in, hit the button, auto level, and away it goes. Levels the front, back, side to side, the coach is level, and we're ready to go. We can be backed in, in our site, hooked up and ready to go in less than five minutes after we get here. Number eight, a dishwasher. Gotta have it. Both Travis and I hate doing dishes by hand and this makes it so nice. As you can see, we can fit a ton in here. We use it every day, sometimes twice a day. It's a lifesaver. Wouldn't RV without the dishwasher. Full time anyways. Okay, number seven is power. We never want to run out of power when we're on the road. So we have a generator system that we can start from here. And this is our meter for our solar panels that we have on the roof. There are four double sized batteries in the basement that keep everything running. So our fridge can run for probably four or five days where most rigs will get about 24 hours and then lose power. We have a 10,000 watt generator. We can run three air conditioners, a microwave, a dishwasher, all of that, all at the same time. Number six is the bunk beds. This was an absolute must have when we were picking out our motor home. We did not want to have to make out beds every night. We wanted the kids to have their own space. They could come, have all of their stuff. And we love, love, love having bunk beds in our rig. Number five, cameras. This is my rear view camera. I can get a wide shot. You're seeing the back of our rig as we're parked right now. But this will cover two lanes of traffic besides the lane behind you. So you can see cars coming up. You can tap, just get basic normal view. If you're backing onto something or need to look at your tow car, you can go down to hitch mode, which is real a real lifesaver. It's a good peace of mind to know you can look back there. Another great thing is, as you turn your blinkers, it will show you down both sides of your coach. So that's if I'm making a right lane change and you're seeing my slides right now, and left lane change. So this makes it, I mean, we're pulling 70, right around 70 feet. So this makes it a lot less stressful while you're going down the road. Okay, number four on the list is a full size residential fridge. We love how much stuff we can fit in here. All of our drinks, food, everything it has the slide out freezer as well. It's been so nice not to have the tiny RV fridge we've had in all of our other rigs. Okay, number three is a hose reel. These things are heavy. So, Integra has put in hose reels, so, this 25 foot long, 50 pound cord can just roll up with ease. So not only do we have it for the power, we also have it for the water. So no more rolling up hoses and sticking them in. Push the button and they disappear. Number two, a washer and dryer. One of the big things we looked for and would not, would not, could not full-time RV without is a washer and dryer. We love having the separate unit. We use it every day. Sometimes I'm doing with all of like the swimsuits and beach towels and regular towels, usually doing multiple washes a day and there's no way that I want to spend all my free time in a laundromat. So a must have for us and probably one of my very top I wouldn't want a full-time RV without my washer and dryer in my rig. Finally, number one is our aqua hot system. It heats our floors, gives us continuous water so we can take long hot showers. We can do loads of dishes, wash clothes, and never run out of hot water. 
This thing is a lifesaver and this is the one thing I would never RV without. We said we didn't have any favors, but favorites, but Aqua Hot. <laughs> yeah, Aqua Hot takes the cake. Yes, for sure. I am going to by myself. I'm going to go down this awesome side because I've gone down it a billion times. So I'm ready. Three, two, one, go! It's a little bit slow at first, I guess. in my